deadly disaster. Twas winter, and the wind blew keen, blew with their might and main, and mountains high, the driven snow, rushed fiercely o'er the plain. That night John Taylor sat beside his wife and daughters three, and pleasantly the hours flew by at home in Meadow Lee. A lady friend was staying there, and oh, with what delight, those kind tongues would rattle on regardless of the night. They talked of old Ontario, of Peel, their native place, of the old home far away and each remembered face, of Stanley Mills and Harrison's, a while their chat would be, and then of newfound friends nearby in Meadow Lee. The night flew on, and fiercer yet the storm king raged and blew, while near to the fire within the little company drew. But lo, what light is this they see, reflecting on the ground? Fire, fire, the house tops are blazed, they all cry in a bound. Out in the storm they wildly rushed to work the gallant go, but who could stay a fire like that in such a blinding snow? No neighbor's house or light was seen, whichever way they turned, and so these helpless ones seemed doomed to either freeze or burn. Then cries the youngest fearless girl, I'll to my uncle's go, I'll bring strong arms to save you all or perish in the snow. Then off she set, but missed her way upon the stormy plain, and helpless ones through that cold night for succor watched in vain. Then cried another daughter true, I'll search the prairie wide, I'll bring my sister back again, or perish by her side. Ill-fated pair to venture forth in such a swirl of snow, misguided love to urge them on, where scarce a man could go. The morning came that Sabbath day, but still the north wind blew, and fierce as ever o'er the plains, the icy snow clouds flew. It was almost noon at William's house, when one of them did say, I'll go and see how uncle has fared on such a wretched day. He went, but oh, did ever I behold so sad a sight. Around him death and ruin lay, the work of that cold night. The neighbors gathered one by one, they searched the plains around, and here and there in reefs of snow a frozen corpse was found. The mother and her daughters three had perished on the plain, and of that happy family but John alone remains. Was ever anything so sad? Or did you ever see a case so strange and pitiful as this in Meadow Lee? Joseph McClure, Stonewall, March 10, 1881.